Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for the month of May. So this is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Venus for May. May. Okay, so this is for May. For Pisces. What do we have for Pisces in the month of May? You know, I have to I have to keep it that way. I have to keep it that way. So there's could be a split. Okay? I I mean, I, I'm not that person that's going to flip it around and pretend. So there could be a separation, okay? Perhaps you are not with the correct person. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. But the, the yin-yang reversed, I believe, would be a separation. This person does not complete you, okay? So it feels as though, and, and we get these twos, the 22 is reversed, which equals a four. But uh, that is a separation of some sort. There's some sort of, uh, it's not the perfect match. for Pisces for the month of May. I can't pretend. I mean, there's a lot of people that do. There's a lot of readers that will. I'm not it. This is not a match made in heaven. There's an absence of connection. There's a disconnection. We have the Queen of Cups and the Lovers. There's somebody else. This is there's somebody else. The Querent, or you, is asking about somebody in particular. That person, whoever you're with, is not the one. You got somebody else, but this is somebody who can't master their emotions, cannot see something clearly. Maybe in fantasy land. So, we have somebody here that is... Very emotional, unable to see, not listening. Uh, I think there's a lot of tears. There's a lot of sadness here. There's somebody else. This is, a, um, this is another opportunity for love that it's not who you think it is. It's not this person that you ne are letting go of. But, you you know, this is an unexpected choice in love. There's somebody else. They are bringing you together with somebody else unexpectedly. But you need to master your emotions. And I feel like you're having a hard time mastering your emotions. It's very, it's a very emotional time. Very sensitive. Um, confused, perhaps. In a state of confusion. Because it's like, why? Why? This is not who I... This, I don't want this person. Well... It is what it is, right? They've brought this other person into your life for a reason. So, this is a soulmate connection here, but not here, okay? So, this is separating from somebody who is not your soulmate and reuniting or uniting with a soulmate. Now, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. The person you're dealing with may be separating from you and reuniting with a soulmate. It could go either way. Somebody is uniting with a soulmate, whether it's you or the person that you are dealing with, because there is a separation here, and it's very emotional. It's hard to deal with. There's a lot of feelings involved. This is... um drowning in your emotions. Somebody may be drowning in their emotions because somebody is connecting with somebody else. That's what this is. Unexpectedly. It happens all of a sudden. It 
It's an unexpected choice in love that you were not prepared for. Lack of foresight you is unpredictable. It just happened. Maybe be somebody that they work with. It could be somebody that they met through their job or you met through your job. There's some sort of putting work here. It's like it happened at work or they worked with this person or somebody is putting in effort with somebody that they feel a deep connection to. There's definitely some sadness, some heartache. Why is this happening? Heart pain, suffering. Oh my God, oh my God, How, why is this happening? How come this has happened? So yeah, I think that there is, it's like all of a sudden, something happens and it's, and it's heartbreaking. I'm sorry, it is heartbreaking. It is. This is heartbreak, this is deep sadness, and this is heartbreak. And I think it and I think it has to do with a separation. It's a separation of some sort. It's because somebody is reuniting with or they're uniting with somebody else. Oh my god. There is definitely a partnership. There's a partnership. I mean the lovers and the two of cups together. This is a union, that a very compatible union. Two people that are coming together, that are meant to be together. But it's not who you think it is, okay? It's not who you think it is. So this is, this is like you may think that you know, but you don't know. Lack of intuition. I'm just telling you, we got somebody here who thinks that they know who the one is, but that one isn't the one. It's somebody else. It is somebody else. We have, we have, um, and this is a, oh my God, oh my God, this is painful. It's a painful realization that these two people are coming together, that these two people are uniting. You didn't see it coming. It was unpredictable. This is lack of foresight. Seriously, you didn't see it coming. It was totally unpredictable. We have an unpredictable union. But this union comes after, there's a separation here, it comes after a separation, a painful separation. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah. Ten of Cups reversed. We have a relationship that has been having problems. This is relationship problems. That's why there's going to be a separation. I think it's very emotional. We have somebody here that has been unable to control their emotions. They've been unable to listen, listen to their true feelings, to honor their true feelings. This is a dying dream or a relationship that is coming to an end. It's not compatible, but there's another union here. There is another union here. Breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation that was based on lust. It was based on greed. It was based on materialism. This is breaking free. Things have gotten worse. That connection has gotten worse. It has. This is like, it's, it's become disastrous. But now this is freedom, freedom from uh, being tied to something that wasn't meant to be. So I think that you're being broken free. The, the ties are being severed or they have been severed. You're now free, but it's hard to master your emotions. You may be feeling very emotional this month. I think that, that, that you've already been broken free, honestly. I feel like it's already happened. The separation has already happened. You may be grieving Focusing on your work, focusing on your money, focusing on your job. And all of a sudden you get this new opportunity or somebody else or somebody, whoever left, they got a new opportunity. Somebody got a new opportunity for love here all of a sudden. And it's a perfect match. But it's after they break free from something that uh, 
they were tied to, okay? This is breaking free from something. So I think that if that has already happened, you were unprepared, you didn't see it coming, now you're free. Now you're free from that relationship. And I think it's very, very emotional. So I think you're going to be heavy, dealing with some sort of emotional loss, honestly, I do. I think it's very, I think there's going to be a lot of tears shed. I think that um, it's sad. It is definitely, there, there's some sort of sadness over this uh, disconnection because there's a new opportunity here that happened all of a sudden. It's like all of a sudden this person found somebody else. <clears throat> yeah, leaving home. Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles reversed. Somebody's moving out or they're going someplace else. They're moving out of the home. There's a change in the home. There's a change in the living circumstances. And it hurts. It does hurt. There could also be some financial ruin here. Financial loss. Somebody may have married just for the money. That's why they married you or that's why they got together with you. Just for the financial security of it. Now they find somebody else and they leave you high and dry. There's going to be a change in the legacy or the change in the family legacy or the change on the home front. And there could be a financial disaster with the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Somebody was living beyond their means and I feel like they're going to experience some sort of separation that causes um, emotional distress and financial There could be a family fighting over money, fighting over assets. This is going your own way, withdrawing, being alone, taking a time out, time to reflect. So I think that you will be taking a time out, withdrawing, taking a, withdrawing from your family and your friends because of whatever has happened. I think something has is, is happened in the month before, I do, which is going to cause you to retreat. This is a time of realizing your true identity. Somebody has turned their back. I feel like somebody has turned their back on you or they've walked away and they have uh, went with somebody else or they've moved out or, you know, something like that. And it hurts. It's painful. So I think that there's some, some element of pain here. It's like, oh my God, oh my God. But you're free. You're free to plan your next move. You're free to go wherever you want. And I think that's what you're going to be doing. I think that you're going to be realizing your true identity, turning your back on situations that no longer serve you, dealing with your pain, going through a period of grieving, um, isolating yourself. Ah, the world reversed. That is uh, frustrated stuck in the present somebody that is entitled refusing to listen to anyone and the same with the hermit the hermit doesn't listen to anyone either so we have somebody here that is 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 needs an attitude adjustment doesn't learn from their mistakes uh doesn't get proper closure something somebody leaves without really saying goodbye they leave without saying goodbye and I feel like it's it's there's a lack of success because there's an inability to accept this and cut your losses. So I think that there's somebody that isn't learning their lessons from their past mistakes. Very very stubborn energy, and therefore they're gonna. Ha I think there's some sort of financial loss that comes because of wanting to hold on to something that isn't meant to be. And this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. We have somebody here that doesn't learn lessons. The world card reverse is somebody that doesn't learn their lesson. They don't. They keep repeating the same lesson over and over and over and over again. You want to know why? Because they don't go with their heart. They don't follow their heart.
this person, whoever this person is, has been focused on materialistic. They've been focused on greed. They've been focused on uh, this is materialism and this is materialism. Things. And that's why they keep having all these losses over and over and over again. Anyway, <coughs> Pisces, I feel like in May you are going to be going through some sort of painful separation from somebody that uh, you may have connected with on a short-term basis. Wasn't meant to be forever. Um, I think that may have happened because of greed. I mean, the devil is greed. Uh, money, you know, greed, money. Uh, now this person is gone or they've left or they're leaving and there's a need to recuperate. So I think you're going to be recuperating from some sort of loss. Um, there is a connection here though with the lover's card and the two of cups. There's a, there's a new connection and it could happen very suddenly and it could be for you. It could be for the other person. There are two people coming together that are meant to be, okay. They are meant to be together. They were brought together very suddenly. It is absolutely a perfect match. But this perfect match comes together after a painful separation. It does. It does. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Capricorn. Whoever you are dealing with, I feel as though it's a very emotional loss it's a it's like a what I want to say it's a hard pill to swallow um, you never saw it coming you never expected this um, it almost feels like we have the ten of cups reverse and the ten of pentacles reverse it's like it's an emotional loss and it's a financial, it's huge. Okay. It's a financial loss. It's, it's uh massive becoming, going into massive debt. So I feel as though in May we have somebody here that may be very frustrated this is very frustrated because somebody left without giving them the proper closure or they left without saying goodbye. Perhaps there's some sort of unfinished business, some unfinished karma that needs to be dealt with. Um, oh my God. That world card reversed is somebody that refuses to change. Okay, they just keep what you resist persists. This person is so stuck in their ways that they're going to keep repeating this lesson over and over and over and over again. And because they choose assets and greed and things over focusing on love, they're going to continue to have hardship and losses in their life. So I feel like in May you are going to be withdrawing. You are going to be withdrawing from a situation that caused you a lot of heartache. You're going to probably be uh, reflecting, uh, maybe grieving, um, because there's some sort of bond that has been broken, and I think it gets broken suddenly. I think whoever you were dealing with, find somebody else. Good luck.